Welcome back to Wilderness Farm, everybody. I'm here today with Alexander and with Jack. We're just having a wander around. We're beginning to think about the market garden. Jack's done some amazing designs, which we'll come on to. But first, we're getting a little bit excited about it being mushroom season. So Jack's going to show us a few things because Jack doesn't get more excited about anything than mushrooms, I don't think. Also acorn season, these fellas have started dropping. I'm getting very excited after Kate came thinking about, mm, could we make some acorn coffee? It's great size. Big boys, it? aren't they? Yeah. Sometimes when you cut them, if they bleed yellow, um, it tells you they're poisonous. Ah, okay. So there's a mu two mushrooms that look similar. It's more of like a dome, the other one, but mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want to be making that mistake. <laughs> This is why we should do uh, like shiitake because you've got the environment for mushrooms to grow. Yeah. So you just have a pile of logs yeah. that are stacked and then we inoculate them with chicken of the woods, with turkey tail, medicinal mushroom. Mm -hmm. And then shiitake might take a year. You harvest them every three months for two years. Wow. Super. If you stagger it, like so we'll do a workshop here and then a workshop in three months. Yeah. You've constantly got a supply of shiitake nice. mushrooms. So because we know we've got a decent environment, yeah. we can build on that and we can farm it a little more almost. It's something you forget about. You do once, yeah. you come back and enjoy it. Lovely. Yeah. I like, I love that. <laughs> For example, here, if you just had like oh. a stack of them, you've got the shade, yeah. getting enough rain. Uh, I mean, this is like ideal, even just like a little spot and... I can show you pictures of what it looked like, but I mean, that's something you it. could do like straight away. Let's do it. Bring me closer and show me the way. How will I know when I've reached that place? Do we and what was this one called? King Alfred's Cakes. You can see it's like charcoal. Ooh. So wow. it looks like charcoal. How cool is that? Like a, like a fingerprint? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's kind of got this 3D yeah. effect. It's like the like Tiger says stone or something. Yeah. The joke side of it is that King Alfred was terrible at baking, so they <laughs> took the mick out of it, and that's what it's, uh, that's the nickname. But this was found on a body of someone thousands of years old in a pouch, mm. and it mimics charcoal. Mm. So when you set it alight, it holds embers. So hunter-gatherers went from site to site to site, mm. and they used these mushrooms in the fire, mm. took them out, and then uh, started the next fire with the embers from the previous fire from the uh, the mushroom, which is really mind blowing. And it's just uh, another little cool fact about nature. So the thing we're really exploring this week, which I haven't actually talked with Jack about yet, but you can sort of hear me as I say it to you, is that kind of thinking, what would it mean to have a, a foraging first farm? What I mean by that is kind of what we're doing today. We're here to talk about the market garden, but we find ourselves foraging for what we can find out here in the woods first the acorns the mushrooms the nettles the berries the rose hips how do we sort of be influenced in our designs by what nature's already offering us abundantly so you know i don't know why i haven't had any acorn coffee yet it could be just because we don't know how to make it taste good but maybe if we put our designs around what nature's offering us Maybe we'll get some new amazing concoctions and co collaborations with nature. And that just shows the age of the place. And then mm. it adds so much value and it's mm. free. It's just like something that comes with the land. You haven't got to add to it. It already exists. Yeah. You can hear the wildlife. Yes. In fact, actually, if you watch the video with Kate and when we were foraging in this space, you would see that I said, can you hear that noise? And it was a woodpecker going. T -t 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 -t. That woodpecker showed up on our farm cam down at the bottom. And I've got to show you the clip right now. It's a great spotted woodpecker. Awesome. And I didn't know, it looks so exotic, like it's flown straight out of the jungle. But it's exciting to start discovering all the stuff that's already here. Birch polypore, you can actually make plasters out of that. Plasters? You can wrap it around and it acts as like an antiseptic. Really? So like a natural plaster. I was just trying to look up like who it was and they said some of the mushrooms they found on Utsi, the Iceman. Birch polypore is the wow. first one that comes up. Wow. They look like little space shuttles that have landed on the oh, tree. And they can get really big. They, they look like the Star Trek one. So that's <laughs> like a baby one. The tree mushrooms are probably some of the best ones. Like chicken of the woods. Yeah. A uh, beef steak mushroom, which looks like like a cow tongue, and it looks like marbled meat. It bleeds like blood. Yes. <laughs> 
the little purple guys yeah uh these are purple amethysts okay top five mushroom in france really they're wow. edible yeah super wide on my plate Permacultures in zones. So zone zero is like you and your yeah. mental health. Like yeah. um, you need to be regenerative before you can make the land regenerative. This is zone five. Yeah. It's zones you barely touch, but it's, it's like your retirement fund. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Alexander found this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I've never seen one before. Really? No. Eee, it's the first for Jack, that right at amazing. the feet of our grand, the grandy, El Grando. The older the tree, the better. Good practice is usually not taking the whole mushroom. You take, you always leave a third, but there's already loads that side that we're not going to touch. Yeah. Well. Right. Kind of Douglas for for hemlock, pine, and orange. Oh, look at that. Wow, that does look like cauliflower. Doesn't it? Just came out of nowhere. Full on. Smell that, it smells great. Oh wow. Very mushroomy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's got a nice texture, almost like a rubbery yeah. soft. <laughs> We've got our first forage of acorns. They all look pretty fresh actually. We got them all from the tree. Oh, from the tree, okay, yeah. nice. Just because when I was reading about it they said maybe there's some worms in it if they're on the ground already. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. A what now? Fibonacci herb spiral lovely it's going to be spiraling back round but also getting high, like taller no. nice as it goes up it's almost like a tat like uh like a snail shell mm -hmm. as we go up and then around that so this is all pathway and there's going to be uh two big permaculture beds mm. and why i say permaculture is because we can grow corn and then we can grow beans to grow up the corn mm -hmm. and it's going to be very like dense mm. a lot of food that complements each other so they they grow well together and there'll be a big, big abundance. And then there'll be, just to get into those beds, we're gonna have wooden log, like stepping stones. Mm -hmm. So it's very natural. And then with these logs, uh, we could potentially inoculate them with mushrooms. We could add straw over these beds as a mulch, inoculate them with mushrooms. So it's like a very different type mm -hmm. of growing, but mm -hmm. it's, it's to show different stages. Yeah, when lovely. someone's coming here for an experience and a, yeah. and a talk or a workshop, they're yeah. going to be seeing different types of growing. Yeah. And I think people will resonate with certain things. Yeah. Oh, do I want to have it no dig? Do I want to go towards permaculture? Mm -hmm. And then at the back here, we're going to have like a, tr hopefully a, maybe like a tripod where we can cook food and there'll be seating area all the way around whether that's just like uh, hay bales with some coffee sacks on so something comfortable it's good shout pizza oven area we can plant herbs around those areas we can have like wood stores we can have like a little micro wildlife pond so we're bringing life in so i've seen dragonflies today newts and toads and they're like your pest management mm. So they're going around and they're eating anything that you don't want to be here. So there's an ecosystem balance. Mm. So you don't have a slug problem. You have a frog, duck, hedgehog deficiency. Mm. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And now, are we entering the pumpkin tunnel of love? So the pumpkin tunnel is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be quite wide. Of but love. We're going to go up. We can grow pumpkins, cucumbers, any beans. But the idea is that as we're walking through it, we can almost harvest oh. from, from here. But we, it's going to be wide enough that you can bring a group through and then either side of that again there's going to be more no dig beds mm -hmm. there's going to be a compost area over here there's going to be open bays that any waste from the market garden goes into we'll go into there and we're going to be creating compost nice compost for next year will be ready to top all the beds again mm. and then we're making organic matter so we're making black gold mm -hmm. and we're spreading it onto the onto the patch the beginning so is this just the wood chip area or is this wood chip and manure? No, I think wood chip and then have the manure in there. Really just want easy access. It's all about you coming out of there, picking it, it's going straight onto there. So we'll zip these in for now and come back and make them good another day. I've been skeptical about the rotavator. I thought Andy was having a laugh when he got hold of this because it looks like something from the 1800s. But Jack wants to give it an experiment, see how it goes. So we'll see. We got a farmer from the road to, to say that he'll come up here and go through there and into the other field to try and get it flat, but may as well use the tool we've got. So let's 
give it a while.